me and my siblings are going to be spending the next 24 hours in the most haunted city in America. Bisbee, Arizona. Bisbee. Well, Bisbee is right here. Where Bisbee, Arizona? Let's talk to town in America. It is one of the oldest cities in Arizona. A century ago, Bisbee, Arizona was booming. It was a mining town. This place is a literal ghost town, and so I know we're going to be seeing some ghosts. This used to be one of the biggest mining places, but it's been abandoned forever now, and supposedly there's some crazy hauntings that go on in some of the hotels that we're visiting. You know, we do have some ghosts here at the hotel. Guess who have never checked out. What would you say to people who don't believe in ghosts? They will not hear and you'll leave a believer. <laughs> <laughs> the most common ghost sighting is, is Billy. He's a young boy. Well, I've had a personal experience with that ghost, actually. Uh, his name's Billy. Second ghost is Billy. <gasps> oh, no. Right. Billy, is this you in this painting? You're literally in an abandoned hotel at this point. We just made Billy angry for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> this car looks pretty tired. <laughs> Yeah. We've already heard a ton of scary stories about things that happen here in Bisbee, Arizona, but today we're gonna be putting them all to the test because tonight we're gonna be doing an actual ghost tour. This is actually oh. terrifying. Staying at a haunted hotel. Oh my God. Visiting a haunted mine. What do people do for fun around here? doing some research to see like where we're going in this hotel and the lady on the phone specifically told us that the spirits wanted us to be in room 412 which is considered Billy's room. It says haunted by the ghost of a small boy. Room 412 is where you will find Billy, a mischievous spirit who can be heard running through the hallways, giggling, turning door handles, try leaving some candy out to encourage him not to hide or move your belongings amongst your room. Is this it? Yeah. Oh my god. Scary. <laughs> I'm scared. Hello. Hello. Okay, so you guys know what room you guys are going into, right? Yes. You do? Yes. All of you guys know? Yes. <laughs> okay. Alright. Just need to make sure. Uh -huh. Do you guys want two keys or three keys? We close up between 10 and 11. It doesn't open until 7 in the morning. We're not a 24-7 hotel. So once I leave, nobody will be here working. I'm sorry, I'm not coming back. <laughs> if somebody gets locked out, it's not going to happen. That's another reason why we're not a 24-7 hotel, for our safety. Because of the witching hour. For those of you who don't know, the witching hour is believed to be the part of the night where ghosts are most powerful, typically right after midnight and around 3 a.m. We aren't comfortable with staying here okay. <laughs> past 11. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> but, you know, they just, they don't understand that they're dead. And you guys are all siblings? So hi guys, my name is Renee and I am going to be your ghost host this evening. Before we could officially check into our room though, it was time to meet Renee, the official ghost expert of Bisbee. How long are you guys in town for? Uh, just we're gonna, yeah, just till tomorrow. She introduced us to three ghosts that haunt the hotel we're staying at tonight. And little did we know, we'd be coming face to face with each one. First ghost, we refer to him as the smoking man. When people see him, he's wearing a top hat and a cape. He has gray stringy hair and a gray beard and he's always seen holding his cigar most of the time people do not see him they smell him he favors the third and fourth floors that's where the upstairs smoking balcony used to be oh. second ghost is billy so we've heard. Heard. since you guys are staying here tonight try this experiment leave out your trinkets for billy okay uh, we call these trigger objects keys cell phones coins toys anything a child would like to play with. Billy has been known to pick these objects up, kind of look at them, and put them back in a place different than where the guests left them. He is also heard crying when people run their showers or bathtubs because he does not like the water because he drinks. He also likes candy. There's numerous stories of people leaving out candy overnight, and in the morning the candy is missing, but the wrappers are there for them to throw away. Oh. So it's worth a shot. And the most famous ghost here in Bisbee is probably the most active ghost here at the Queen. It is that of Julia Lowell. Now, Julia's ghost really likes it when men stay here. Uh-oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Been known to get into bed with these men, to whisper in their ears while they sleep, take the covers off their feet, tickle their toes. <laughs> tickle your toes? You guys gotta watch out for your toes tonight. Yeah. This is tough. Top 10 scariest alleyways that I've watched through <laughs> my lifetime. This staircase which is not to be confused with a street. 
So what do we think that is? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> is that? Is that a cat or is it? It's a chubacabra. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I think it was. You know, be a man and go check it out. I feel like for it being a Monday too and it being so empty, like all the weird noises are extra s suspicious. Didn't it also kind of sound like it was saying right? I can't believe I'm saying this, but I want to be in the hotel because I'm scared. <laughs> oh my gosh. This little house. And my favorite ghost in all of Bisbee haunts the corner room on the top floor, that of the ghost cat. And the story behind the ghost cat is really sad if you are a cat lover. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like cats? They scare me. Well, this one night the cat tried to get inside the hotel. They shoot it away, went next door to the saloon, walked downstairs, and accidentally locked itself in the storage room where it starved to death. I know, it's really sad. The day after they found the cat's body, they started to get ghost cat reports in room 23. So the cat finally made it inside the hotel. <laughs> Yay! That is the Oliver House, believed to be one of the most haunted places in the state of Arizona. Oh, that's scary. Oh, that's Lulu. That's Lulu the cat. Oh, it's okay. okay. Oh, that's Lulu. That's scary. That's scary. I don't know. Are there stairs to go up? We're walking up to the fourth floor because he did not let us take the elevator. Oh my god, yeah, you're right. I'm fine. Walk forward. The floral perfume? Yeah. Um, Julia is more like a white orb. You'll smell a floral scent if she's in your presence. No, it smells so floral right here. No, like that literally smells like someone just sprayed like perfume right, right here. It's not anymore. Yeah, and did your eye. It like went like, again, it was in that spot. No, like it's not here anymore. Bro, what the hell? It anymore. was like it was hovering in the air. Wait, I'm literally so scared. Can we go to a Hilton? Uh, wait, it smells like smoke. Yeah, the hell no, it doesn't. Shut up. She didn't, yes, it does. Please, it I don't like smell smoke. smoke. Wait, this is the third one, right? Yeah. This is the smoking room. I don't smell smoke. No, it I smells like smoke. smoke. Yes. Anything that I say in this video is not me acting. Maybe no, I smell smoke. smoke. The camera died right as I came up to this floor. My phone died coming up to this. And there's nah. no way that the camera battery should have died that quickly. Uh, I just saw someone. So we have actual keys. Open the door. I, I, it sounds like there's someone in there. Oh, there. Tyler, oh, knock. We're not, we're not seeing you. I'm literally looking out for a new hotel. <laughs> like, you. Basically, I'm checking the mirrors to make sure that these aren't two way mirrors. See how there's the gap right there? That means it's a real mirror. I'm gonna shuffle these letters. See if Billy will spell his name correctly. Lily. Okay. We just were about to leave and we realized something. There's grape marks. Like oh, literal claw marks. Yeah. Now that we are in our room, the thing that is getting extra freaky and scary now is that this hotel is actually unmonitored throughout the night. So all of the staff actually leaves and they lock the hotel. They told us that they're worried about their safety. And why we're not a 24 seven hotel for our safety. So we are officially in this hotel like by ourselves. Well, look at this, we got a bag of burritos. The thing that's about to get super scary is we're actually gonna leave our room and go explore the hotel now that no one is here. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> no, no. no I've been sitting here this whole no, time. I, 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 someone explain. So we looked over and it says Billy. Somebody obviously changed it and they're not telling the truth. I uh, legitimately, I no cap, I did not move that. Okay, uh, let's go explore because I'm getting like freaked out and I feel Wait, like I keep hearing. Does that mean we're gonna be leaving Billy alone in here if we leave? Because it means that Billy's here if he changed his name. Bro, what? record. Oh, yeah. I, there's a bull hole on the wall. Oh, there's not. Why? <laughs> <laughs> No, I think they're just covering it. My heart is literally pounding in my chest. I'm so scared. The way that I really think I got spray a ghost with pepper spray. But if you guys don't know what a voice box is, it's basically a like radio station that picks up frequency from things around you and it like spits out random words as you ask a question. Guys, I hate that there's, I'm pretty sure there's actually no one on this floor. Try keeping your breathing slow throughout the session. Is Billy here? Yes, let's stop. Yeah. <laughs> oh. 
Wait, I don't know. <laughs> You pushed me off, you <laughs> sociopath. Oh, I feel like you literally threw yourself. Hold on. Off know, the bed. I mean, dead serious. Nicole literally yeeted me off the bed. That wasn't funny. Oh, you. We're going to explore the hotel while using an app to see if there's any ghosts in the area. Oh. Did you just get scared by a part? We're leaving Hershey Kisses around the room and we're going to come back and see if Billy opens them and eats them while we're gone. So we have an EMF reader. It is so scary. It's so cold out here. No. I feel like I'm gonna have a heart attack. Okay, Billy's room has a lot of frequency. That's the room we just came out of. Okay, you go first. <laughs> It just leaks down to It's her wardrobe. <laughs> Wait, is it? <laughs> What's it? It's her wardrobe. Who's? I don't know if they said there's something about her, this woman's wardrobe. Billy Lowell's room. The vanity outside was her personal vanity. Okay. We do keep it tied up, but you'll see it tied up because a lot of people say that they hear screaming or scratching coming from the vanity. And like people were hearing screams come from it, but it's untied. Like it was like tied up and then it's untied. Cause there's rooms right there. Yeah. It's so scary, it's so scary. Okay, okay so that's who it was. Julia Lowell. Should we open it? Yeah. It literally feels like this entire hotel is to ourselves. You guys, when I say that, I am like legitimately terrified right now. It doesn't let me screen over. Wait, where would you? Did you hear that? It sounded like there were people downstairs. You guys, usually hotels have someone at the desk 24 7. The lobby is pitch black and no one is down there. Be back shortly. They're not coming back for us until the morning. Okay, the hotel is officially closed and we are locked in. Okay, this is weird. I've never been in like a hotel like this. Yeah, like, too. This is strange. They're not here. Like there's no bell people. Also the fact that all the keys are just right there. What, what is this? Why is that light on? I for one don't want to have to walk back through all of that, so I'm gonna take the elevator. Are you willing to take the elevator back up? No, well, there's no one here. Are even, you kidding me? We have cell service. Dude, even that elevator sounds spooky. <laughs> Why do we all jump up? <laughs> That's oh not what the elevator's supposed to do. Alright. Wait, this is so oh, creepy. Oh my god, oh my god. I feel like we're in like the haunted mansion. Oh, did you see that skull sticker? Whoa. Wait, what are these? Oh my god, it's still moving. It's still moving. I hated that. So where's our We're down. Yeah. Okay, stop. Who did that? Shut up. Stop. <laughs> Shut up. No, we all you were the first to walk in. We all left at the same time. <laughs> we all left at the exact same time. How? Look, we just so <laughs> Let's ask, let's ask Billy. Let's ask Billy. Billy, did you eat our chocolate we left for you? It's a yum. Yes, I did. <laughs> did that not say yum? Like, yes, I did. I did. I did. So, so Are we the only ones left in this hotel? All the toys. They have it. Is it high? high. Uh, okay. How old are you, Billy? Is it ten? Billy, is this you in this painting? <gasps> it is me. <laughs> What? 
Can you see me? Yeah. Okay, so on the tour, so I took this photo. Does this not look like <gasps> a silhouette of someone? Shut up. No. Like that Dead looks serious. like someone's walking towards the camera. Yeah, show it again. I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? That kind of just looks like... Does that not look like an arm right there? Yes, and like the head. Like that is... Guys, comment down below if you think that this looks like an arm. Like, I just like hate that there's no one here <laughs> attending the hotel. Like for logistical matters, like we are literally in an abandoned hotel at this point. Oh, uh, well not abandoned. There's all the ghosts. Oh, Who's that? <laughs> Who's talking? Oh, it's my fault. <laughs> all right guys with that i think we're gonna go to sleep because tomorrow we have another scary excursion as you guys know this is a mining town so gabrielle and i are going to go into the mines to see if we can find any ghosts down there and also see what it was like for people who used to live here while on eden we are gonna go interview the locals yes, and get down to the nitty gritty Pretty. of what, what this town has yes, to hold all right, we ready for that? So tired. <laughs> good morning. Morning. Is it a good morning? Is it? I'm so tired. <laughs> I did not sleep well. That is the worst night of sleep of my life. Raise your hand if you heard ghosts. Yes. Ah. Ah. I kept hearing things call my name, and then I was like with my blindfold off and everyone was still sleeping. She's been known to get into bed with these men, to whisper in their ears while they sleep. The next experience is surviving a real life mine. A haunted mine. Tour, yeah. we're going into the mine. Now we'll go a total of 1,500 feet back inside that mountain. Right, go down to Frank, he'll get you a light. All right. You look just like a miner now. As we traveled nearly three miles into the mines, our guide shared stories with us about the dangerous working conditions and even the legend of Headless John, who supposedly still haunts the mines even to this day. Right now it's about 42 degrees in here. Pretty chilly. Holy smokes. That was crazy, you just went into a mine. And I made it out of that. <laughs> you need a... a shoe. Yes. We were talking on the phone. It's you, that's why I said it, yeah. Yeah. You're pulling at my spirit. Me? Right now? Yeah. This is Chrissy, the manager of the hotel and a supernatural seer. She explained to us her gift of being able to sense spirit. We had talked on the phone, but this was our first official time meeting in person. Quit pulling at the spirit, <laughs> is it? No, the reason she's pulling... You're pulling at me because you're going through something that not too many people know of. You keep things to yourself. But you're going through some stuff that hurts heart. Can I touch you? Yeah. Your heart aches. You have a hurt. And you hide it. Because you don't cry in front of people too much. You're a very private person. Yeah, you know what you always say. <laughs> but you're dealing with something that I need you to... You're aching. It's yours. Mm -hmm. 
She holds your stuff personal. Yeah. That's why I felt it on her. Eden does. She carries uh, other people's emotions. Yeah, it's your hurt, I feel. Before you leave, as you crossing over the threshold, say, God, do not allow me to leave with nothing that didn't come. Okay. Leave it. I don't want you to leave me. I want you to take it with me. <laughs> but I don't want it to go with you, okay? okay? So leave it here. Okay, okay. well, thank you so much. Wait. Oh, that's the room that we saw. Last night. Last night. But didn't you close the dresser or did you leave it? I thought I closed it. I mean, we'll look back at the footage. <laughs> Cause I remember I told him to close it. I was like, close the door. So okay. this was the room we saw last Wait, night. Just knock. There's no one's in there. So this is the lady in white. Right. Julia, Julia Lowell. Look, <laughs> you all said a different oh. last name. What? It looked like someone ran past the window. Are you no, serious? No, are you lying? No, actually, I wonder if you could see it on camera. Oh. This is... This it's not very light. I keep hearing something over no, here. No, literally, like, that's where, like, when I opened the door, it literally looked like someone, like, ran. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, I hear someone coming. Is there something there? No. Wait, are you, are you definitely footsteps? Wait, is the... Wait, was this not just open? Like when we came... Footsteps? When we... Wait, no. Look, it's all... It's tied up! Wait, the thing There's... is... It's tied the up. thing is tied up now. The... What's tied up now? The, <laughs> the vanity is tied up. Like. And it, and it wasn't with that last night. Okay, um, it's time to go. It's we've had our fun. It's time to go. Yes. Yes. Remember me. Yes. I'm just gonna give you this. You got this. Okay, thank you. Anything and everything that you battled, even school, you got this. He's trying to get some help. You're stronger than you give yourself credit for. So many people look at you and wonder how you do it. Cause you, listen, God don't give us nothing we can't handle. Yep, exactly. You got this. And with that, our time in Bisbee comes to an end. Now, is this ghost town really haunted? I guess that's up to you to decide, but one thing that's for sure, we saw plenty of stuff that we still can't explain. We met people we'll never forget, and made memories that will last a lifetime. <laughs> the threshold's right yep. here. Dear God, we leave it all here. We will say goodbye, Billy. All the spirits have been wonderful visiting. We will see you next time, but do not follow us. <laughs> leave a comment with what you think our next adventure should be, and we'll look forward to seeing you in a new video. Oh.